A few months ago, Tesla released a software update that included camp mode, which allows your car to stay on in case you're camping. You can keep the climate active, all the USB ports will be active so that you can charge things or have things plugged in. The car will stay awake, the screen will stay on, the car will just stay ready for you, it won't keep going to sleep so that you can use it while you're camping, getting in and out. So at that time, I decided I'm gonna test this out in this crazy snowstorm we're gonna have. Okay, sorry, I know it's pretty dark, but it's the middle of the night. You can see the view out the front. It is snowing like mad. We're supposed to get up to nine inches of snow tonight. And I figure this would be the best time. I don't know if you can read down there. It says camp mode. Uh, let's try it out. So we're gonna pretend we're in an extreme uh, kind of severe situation here. We were predicted to get like six to eight inches of snow. I thought that would be a lot of fun. Well, then honestly, I just wasn't really comfortable enough. Uh, I just put like a blanket under me. I didn't have any kind of mattress. I had to wake up early the next day. I didn't want to have to wake up even earlier to dig myself out and then plug my car back in before I had to go. Well, I was contacted by ForMyTesla.com. They wanted me to try out their six inch mattress with camp mode. And uh, you know, I have the Model 3, it's not the biggest Tesla, but Model 3 does have camp mode, you can camp in it. So I said, sure, let's try it out. Uh, and I figure we can try out their mattress, see how that does. We can also test out camp mode, see how much battery it uses, see how comfortable it really is in the Model 3. So let's get in the car and check it out. All right, so getting in and out of the car actually isn't too bad. Uh, of course, it'd be a lot nicer in a Model X or a Model Y or even a Model S, um, but no big deal. This mattress, I gotta say, is incredibly comfortable. You can set it up so that your seats are still up and the mattress is kind of up for you, so it's more like a sitting position. And then you can use the shelf here to uh, game, watch movies, whatever you want. We'll try that out in a minute. The mattress has these really nice optional sheets with a really good looking Tesla logo on them. You can get them in whatever colors you want, but I gotta say, it is really incredibly comfortable. It's a lot thicker than the competitors. The only negative with that is storage. If you're gonna travel really far with this thing, it does take up a lot of space. Uh, it does fold up though, which is really nice, but even in the folded up position, it takes up a lot of room. The best way to travel with it is partially folded so that it's in the trunk. You can use your back seats if you need them and your front seats, but you do still have some room in the trunk and you also do have the sub trunk. So getting the mattress in was pretty easy. Uh, we put it in through the back here and it is pretty tight. My wife did help me get the mattress ready. We just put it in through the trunk. She was back here. I went up to this side and I pulled it up. Um, and in the middle of the trunk there, it is pretty tight, but it fits well. All right, so let's say we're out here camping. I wanna get a drink. I actually do have a cooler here in the sub trunk and should be easy enough to get in here. Yep, so you can open it up. Uh, now, I only have one hand, so I'm gonna put my foot up there to hold that open. And there we go. So, got my water out of there. I can have all my food and snacks in there, no problem. Just put that back in. Again, a lot easier with two hands. All right, so yeah, getting in and out of here isn't too bad. I need something to prop this up. It's pretty good. So getting in and out of here isn't too bad. Um, there's all kinds of accessories they have on this website if you want, but you can just get the mattress. Uh, man, oh my gosh, I'm taking a nap in here. I wanna do it, it's so comfortable. So if you have never camped in a Tesla, then you and I have something in common because I've never done that either. This view is pretty amazing. So I'm just laying down and man, especially at night, full of stars up there, <laughs> just would be really nice. So what's cool about this sitting position? Oh no, I'm in the wilderness. Now I have this shelf here that I can use um, and I can just like hang out and if I have a laptop or an iPad or whatever, I can just be like playing some games up here. That's awesome. Well, as for space while camping in your Tesla, I am 5'9". I'll put my feet there, kind of touching the trunk there. And if we turn around, uh, you can see I have plenty of room, especially if I put these seats down. So right now, again, I'm in like the chill sitting mode where I'm kind of sitting up and I can use, you know, this shelf to do stuff. Uh, but there's plenty of room. We have camp mode going on back there. You can see the Easter egg. Maybe I can focus on that for you. There you go. Um, so you can see the Easter egg going on the screen. Um, as far as battery, you know what? I've been doing this for probably a half hour now and I haven't even checked. So let's look at the app really quick. So here's my Tesla app. You can see at the top there, it says camp mode enabled. Interior is 69 degrees. I have it set to 69. Actually a little warm. I'm gonna turn it down a couple. So I set it to 67 and it's gonna crank it up just a little bit. 
uh, and then I should be nice and comfy in here. So it's 82 degrees right now and it's well into the evening. So it was pretty warm today. I seriously just cannot believe how comfortable this is. This is so nice. This is, I wanna camp in this thing now. Now imagine if you have like a Model Y or a Model X. Oh my gosh, you'd have so much room. But like when you're laying down, it's plenty of space. Uh, my wife was in here earlier. She did say it was very comfortable for her. Two people in here would be, you know, I mean, you're camping, so you'd be a little tight in here. Um, but for camping, I mean, you'd have enough room, especially if you're like in a pinch and you didn't want to maybe get a hotel room or something, especially now, let's say you're, you know, traveling across the country, going to visit a relative or something. You don't want to stay in a hotel. You just don't want to pay for it. You don't want to risk getting sick or something. Uh, you could just take this and, you know, find a place to park and sleep here. Now, getting into the front seat is uh, a little difficult, but uh, I have easy entry enabled. And, you know, every time I open this door, then the front seat goes back up. And so it keeps messing up my mattress. So I need to just reach up here and move it back because I want it supporting the, the mattress. I want to be able to sit up because I'm not, I'm not sleeping. Okay, so really comfortable. I'm gonna take a little nap, just a little snooze, just try it out, gotta make sure. So I'm gonna move these seats forward so I can lay flat. I'm gonna have plenty of room. I actually think there might be plenty of room for two people in here when I was playing that. I was like off to the side and I just looked over, there was tons of mattress left. So, you know, it's up to you, of course. Um, it would be best in a bigger car. Um, I mean, I'm liking it a lot, but if you were gonna do this often, you were gonna camp a lot, then yeah, you'd probably want a Model Y at least. Um, if not a Model S or X. Okay, so as you can see, I moved the seats up. We are now pretty flat here. It's actually got a little bit of an incline to it. So my head is a little higher than my feet, but it's actually pretty nice. Um, so, you know. Alrighty, well I've been in here somewhere around an hour. I don't know, I watched some shows, dozed off for just a second. Camp mode is sweet. I actually wish I had an opportunity to, you know, take this out somewhere. I guess I'm kind of camping right now. You can see I'm out in the middle of the woods. Um, but this is a cool experience. I mean, this is really cool, especially with, with the, the glass roof up here, looking up out there, spending a night in here would be really nice. As far as energy use, I actually had to turn the air back up. I got a little cold and I think it was using about two miles an hour, something like that. Especially if you can get it closer to ambient, it's really not going to use much energy at all. So overall camping in a Tesla is awesome, especially if it's a little bigger, but you know what? This is, this is fine in the model three. This is really nice. The mattress is awesome. It's really comfortable. There's a link for it down in the description. So check that out. If you enjoyed this, hit like, get subscribed, and you will see me in the next video. So autopilot and I are happily driving along. Pilot and I are happily driving around.